Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And today I'm gonna be reviewing a newest fragrance from Jean Paul Gaultier, which is Jean Paul Gaultier Label, and this is the Paradise Garden. So I do have two samples of this fragrance, and I didn't use all of all of them. I just used half and half of the samples and so the review is ready. Um, if you think that this bottle is somewhat familiar, you're not mistaken, because this is a bottle which is exactly the same bottle that came out and in 2022 with a Fleur Terrible uh, fragrance. So basically this is a re-release Although the notes are slightly different, I'm going to be talking about this in, in a second, but the bottle is exactly the same. Also, the Flirty Ribble came out as, at least in Finland. I just saw it in one size only. It was 100 ml, um, but this one, the Paradise Garden, comes in 30, 50 and 100 ml uh, bottles. So. Let's uh, cover the notes first. So the notes of this fragrance are Blue Lotus, Iris and Vanilla. So it's kind of very straightforward and very short pyramid that we have here. Basically in the Fleur Terrible uh, we had instead of the Lotus of the Blue Lotus flower we had Water Lily. The rest of the notes, the Iris and Vanilla are the same. I have to tell you that I do not remember how the Fleur Terrible smelled and I have smelled it, I have tried it and I have worn it for some time, just sprayed it in the store, but I do not recall at all the scent. But this one, I have to say that um, I like this one. I like this one, it's light, it's airy, it's fresh, it's refreshing. I do think it's a wonderful scent for summer. In my opinion, there's also something that is missing from the um, from the, um, the notes on Fragrantica, because I can detect, and again, I'm not a pro, I'm not a professional perfume maker, I'm not a nose, it's just for me, for my nose, my perception is that there's some kind of coconut uh, kind of maybe coconut milk, maybe co coconut water, for sure something coconutty, for sure something like um, exotic flower, something like is present as well. So, but apart from that, I, I, I do think that this, this fragrance is quite lovely. I think it's a wonderful fragrance for summer. It's quite different from what we know and what we like in Jean Paul Gaultier Classique. It's quite different from typically summary uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier Divine. It's also different. This one is really, really watery. This one is very refreshing. Um, I have heard some people saying that it's quite um, unisex. And mind you, I'm always for a person to wear a fragrance if a person likes a fragrance. Never mind the gender of this person. If you like the fragrance and you're a man, it's uh, targeted for a woman, but if you like it, you wear it. And obviously it works the other way around. Anyway, in my opinion, this is quite, a f you know, a womanly scent, but it doesn't mean that you cannot wear it. It's just that it has this sweet, but not overpowering the sweet, like womanly vibe, in my opinion. It's not a complex scent, um, I just keep smelling my arm because it smells good. Does it smell particular? Does it smell some like something never heard, never smelled before? No. But most definitely it smells like something really pleasant, really appealing. Especially in summer, especially in, in hot, scorching days. So, yeah, I, I like this one. I like this one. Would I be open to buy a bottle? Yeah, probably 30 ml would suffice because um, it's. I don't want to say that it's too simple for me 
because I do have plenty of fragrances that are citrusy and they're quite simple, that, but this one is quite simple. For being Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle line, it's quite a simple fragrance. And I'm sure that I would be able to put to a good use like 30 ml bottle, but I just don't need a bigger bottle of this one. Like for instance, a um, couple of weeks ago, or no, not a couple of weeks ago, I'm confusing this one with the other fragrance that I got a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, I've got myself Jean-Paul Gaultier Divine, or Divine, um, so I, I loved it, I loved it so much, and I got myself 50 ml bottle, and I was like, oh my gosh, why, did I, why didn't I get a 100 ml bottle, because it's so worth it for me, and I love it so much, it's so potent, so beautiful, and so, it's, it's projecting and everything, but this one, I'm more than confident that Siotemal would be very much enough for me of this fragrance. Um, it's kind of this um, summery vibe for people that don't really like overly summery fragrances because we know that the summer fragrances, they almost all of them, they contain some kind of this beach vibe, this suntan lotion kind of thing, or maybe frangipani, or maybe some white flower. This one is not like that. This one is really kind of dreamy, sweet and light. It has quite a lot of vanilla. It is sweet, but it's not so much sweet that, you know, you're not able to use it. In, in summer hot days. Um, it has some kind of dreaminess, so I kind of attribute this dreaminess, this kind of uh, slow, this kind of, uh, yeah, kind of dreamy vibe of this fragrance to the iris, because the iris, it gives this kind of powderness to the fragrance, so it's that. It's a nice, it's a pretty one, it's for sure that would be a good fragrance in case if you're collecting Jean-Paul Gaultier, uh, classic bottles so that might be a good option for you to add to your collection and in, in fact this is not a bad fragrance this is a nice fragrance and I would really love to add Suote ML to my collection no questions asked here but only Suote ML I, I wouldn't be able to use more of this because um, it's just not the fragrance that I gravitate to in summer in summer are like something more zesty or something more sweet or something more fresh or something more citrusy or this kind of quite op opposite quite very sweet and very heavy fragrances but this one is kind of in between it's kind of a little bit watery a little bit irisy a little bit powdery sweet fragrance i don't think that's a unique fragrance in my opinion do I think that they they did a good job? I do think that they, they did a good job. Could they have done better? Well, obviously, obviously. But this is not a bad one. It's just that, you know, I, I don't think that I will go more than 30 ml if ever I will go out and buy this fragrance. I do hope that I helped you with the review of this fragrance, I help you to understand whether or not you need this fragrance and most definitely, and I'm, I'm, I'm repeating you, I, I don't really remember the Fleur Terrible by judging by the notes, solely by the notes, by the top note that is different, but it's kind of, it has blue lotus and that one it had the water lily, they are kind of the same vibe kind of this watery, fresh flower. So I do think that these two fragrances, they should be very, very close to each other. So in case that you missed a Fleur Terrible, don't get upset, just go out and test this one. Maybe this is your jam. Maybe this is gonna be the fragrance that you would like to get instead of Fleur uh, Terrible that you have to overpay now quite a lot. Yeah, so... Um, if you like this video, please give me thumbs up and I will see you on Sunday and I thank you for your attention and I wish you a beautiful Wednesday. Bye!